Sam Kerr has led Chelsea to their third straight women's FA Cup, scoring the lone goal in the final against Manchester United in front of a record crowd at Wembley. With 77,390 people in attendance, the sold-out game smashed the previous record for a women's domestic club football match, an Atletico Madrid vs Barcelona clash in 2019, by 17,000 people. It was also almost 30,000 more fans than last year's decider, when just over 49,000 people set a then-record for a women's FA Cup match as Chelsea beat Manchester City in extra time. Kerr's 68th-minute strike, poking home Pernell Harder's cross, proved decisive as Chelsea won the trophy for the third straight year to remain in contention for a league and cup double. The Matildas' captain scored a double, including an extra-time goal to win last year's final against City 3-2, which followed a double in the 2021 decider against Arsenal, making it five goals for Kerr in the past three FA Cup finals. It might have been a different story had Leah Galton's strike in the opening minute not been ruled out for offside as United got off to a flying start, but the Red Devils could not take advantage. We had to kick each other at half-time, Chelsea boss Emma Hayes said. We know how to stay in a game and, even if we weren't at our best, we have to work out how to change it. We had to possess the ball better and then find the quality in the final third. And they did that, with Kerr breaking the deadlock when she latched onto the pass from substitute harder to slot past Mary Earps. Kerr took off and celebrated with her traditional backflip as teammates swarmed her. The occasion just needed a backflip didn't it? She said after the game. I had been asked for it by a few friends, so it was the day. It was Kerr's sixth goal in five FA Cup games this season which included the winner in a 1-0 semi-final victory over Aston Villa, and a hat-trick in their opening 3-2 win over Liverpool. United manager Mark Skinner bemoaned his team's inability to find the knockout blow, which Kerr has proven time and again is her speciality. We switch off in one moment, there's space to Sam to run into, which we haven't given her all game, United manager Mark Skinner said. Chelsea have done hardly anything in the game, but they are winners for a reason, they find the tiny little gap. A week after being Australia's flag bearer at the coronation of King Charles III, Kerr had another brush with royalty as Prince William presented the Blues with their champions medals in London. As well as winning three FA Cups in a row, Chelsea has also won back-to-back -back league titles in the past two seasons and is trying to complete another league and cup double. Chelsea is second in the Women's Super League, a point behind leader United, but with a game in hand. It's one piece of the jigsaw. I want more, this isn't enough, Chelsea midfielder Erin Cuthbert said. We want to go for the league now. We can only control the controllables.